Hi, Sania. Good morning. Hello, are you there? Hey, hi. hi. Hello. How are you? Fine. And you? Very nice. Good. Always the first one eh, in the class. <laughs> Como siempre. <laughs> Y eso que no la va a dejar el esposo, imagínense. <risa> super nice, super nice. ¿Qué tal la experiencia de ayer? Algo diferente, ¿ah? ¿eh? Algo diferente. Sí. Y quizás la diferencia quizás radica en que no nos podemos estar viendo ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero y quizás teniendo ustedes sus material en la mano, etcétera, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. Pero sí, todo bien. Diferente y hay que como que aplicar un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque hay que poner con más atención. Ajá. Eh, porque... Hay que tomar ventaja. <laughs> Eso es cierto. That's nice. Ok. And how is your family? Yes. Are you ok? Yes. That's nice. And your son? Is sleeping? Eh, no. Sleeping. Oh my God. Yeah, my daughter too. She's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So you are working from home. That's nice, huh? Everybody from Pai is working from home. That's nice. Hey, we have the other guys coming, okay, and joining. Carlita Beatriz, good morning. Hello. Hi, Claudia. Good Hello. morning. How are you? Fine. That's good. Very nice. Hey, Carlita, are you cooking now? No, right? I I was washing the dishes. Ah, okay, okay. Wow, very early in the morning, <laughs> Carlita. Very nice. Congratulations yes. for you. That's nice. That's nice. It's very hard. <laughs> I think, Carlita, uh, working or staying in the house is more difficult than working in an office. Yes, of oh, course. Uh, you have to do a lot of things. The cleaning... See, see my this. nails, teacher. Look, mine. Yes. <laughs> I don't have nails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. But anyways, it's part of the the times that we are living, right? Okay. Claudia, you are married, right, Claudita? Yes. Okay. But no children. No, I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have an advantage there. You have an advantage. Can you imagine... In my case, uh, in a quarantine um, for four months with a baby of about three, four years old, it's so difficult, mm -hmm. so difficult because she isn't the time that she wants to go out. She doesn't like to be just in the house. So it's very hard. So I had to be like, you know, Feeling, feeling very, sometimes I felt extremely stressed, extremely stressed. I wanted to run. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, this part of the, the times, right? As I said before, that's nice. Okay, we have, oh, we have Sophie. Okay, joining the class. Hello, Sophie. Okay, morning, good morning. That's very nice. And more people are joining too, okay? Well, girls, well, we have girls class, that's nice. So we're going to talk about actors. <laughs> Hi, Carlita, very happy. Okay, we are going to talk about today, guys, a welcome a, to the video conference number two. Now we are going to learn how to use, okay, conjunctions, okay, coordinated conjunctions. This is a, a topic very simple. And there are words that you already know, and there are things that you already, okay, use when you speak English. But now we're going to give them a name, okay? They are called a coordinated conjunctions, right? But we are going to start, okay, by refreshing a little bit of what we studied yesterday. That was comparatives, right? We were practicing long adjectives, short adjectives. And we were practicing the... 
the, the conjugation, right? Okay, and, and how to use them, right? And that's it. I'm going to share, okay, the first, the first part, okay, because I want you to practice this to refresh, okay? This is to refresh your memory, okay? We have Veronica. Good morning, Veronica. We have Exa. Good morning, Exa. Pleasure to see you once again in the good class. Morning. That's nice. Very good. Morning. So we have, a, uh, you know, small, smaller. We have the comparative. This is just to refresh your memory from yesterday, okay? We are going to start with the first part. And yesterday we learned, okay, this is the activity that we have. This is the, the stuff here. Carlita Beatriz, can you please read instructions? Help me, please. Okay. Uh, activity in pairs look at the flashcards and decide how many syllables mm -hmm. the adjective have put the adjective with the same syllables together okay very good so for example this is a the number one is when this, the adjective has only one syllable okay the number two if the adjective has two syllables. The number three, if the adjective has three syllables. And number four, if the adjective has four syllables, okay? There, my friends, you have here examples. One syllable, hot. Two syllables, well, we don't have. Number three, beautiful, okay? Three syllables, adjective. Do we have, this is an example. This is the the, the chart, okay, maybe you can, you can uh, just write it down on your notebooks, okay, and okay, this is uh, expensive, okay, other example, right, expensive, and that's it, so what are we going to do, okay, we are going to have, remember, beautiful, okay, so what I want you to do is that you have, okay, in your hands, okay, you remember from yesterday, um, we had a, a list, okay? So you are gonna put this list into different categories, okay? Which are the categories? Well, the number one, number two, number three, that's it, the list that we have here. I'm going to show you the list, okay? Okay, that's it. Oh, let me check. Okay, because I want to share the list to you. Okay, this is the list, okay, for the, for the, 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 the activity, okay, that's it. We have expensive, we have beautiful, we have cold, hot, cheap, interesting, intelligent, dangerous, fast, okay, slow and heavy, okay. What are we going to do, guys? Well, we're going to put these adjectives into the correct category okay for example a uh, we had the number one expensive if you can count with your fingers expensive right so we have three adjectives a uh, beautiful beautiful so you're gonna put it in the category of a uh, number four let's see here a uh, number a uh, three that is called hot ship interesting, intelligent, okay, a dangerous, fast, slow, and heavy. That's it. Sophie, we are going to start with you, Sophie. Uh, what do you think is the number three? Cold. Where do you think it is? In the first. In the first, okay, very good. Let me check then uh, for you. What well, hot, it was an example, okay, cheap. Uh, let me see here, uh, Veronica, chip. What do you think in chip, Vero? Uh, one syllable. One syllable, excellent, very good. Okay, chip, right, one syllable, that's it. Uh, Senia, what about interesting? You can count with your fingers, right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. interesting. One syllable, two syllables, or three syllables, or four syllables. Four syllables? I'm sorry? Four syllables? One? Two? Four. Four. Four syllables. Yes. Let me check. Interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. How many? 
3-0. Inter, uh -huh, inter, okay. Here, in this case, when you have interesting, okay, that's it, the pronunciation, right? Interest, that's it. Okay, then intelligent, that's it. This is for, let me see, for, for exa, okay? Exa, uh, intelligent. How many syllables do you think it has? Check your, your, your audio, please. Okay. I, I, I don't listen. Uh, intelligent, intelligent. How many oh, syllables yes. do you think it has? Intelligent. Four syllables. Four syllables, intelligent. Excellent, very good. Dangerous, okay, uh, dangerous. Uh, Claudia, please tell me, dangerous. Uh, three syllables. Okay, dangerous, okay, very good, three syllables. Uh, Carlita Joana, good morning. Fast, how many syllables does the adjective fast have? Fast. Good morning. Morning. Uh, fast, uh, one syllable. One syllable, okay, very good, very good. Okay, we continue, okay, let me see. Uh, well, Giovanni's here, hello, good morning, Giovanni. Gabriela, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, Jova. Jova, how many syllables does a slow have? Slow. How many syllables? A slow, um, two syllables. Two syllables. Okay. Well, a slow has one, uh, Jova. One syllable. Uh -huh. Okay. Slow. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Because there is only one, one vowel. And heavy? What about heavy, Gabby? Good morning, Gabby. Morning. Morning, morning, Gaby. Okay, heavy. How many syllables does it have? Two syllables. Two syllables. Okay, heavy. Very good. So, according to the syllables, what is the comparative for expensive? More expensive. More expensive. Very good. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. What is it? Sorry. More beautiful. More beautiful. Very good. Cold. Colder. Colder. Yeah. Very good. Hot. Colder. Hotter. Excellent. Cheap. Cheaper. 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 Interesting. More, more um, interesting. interesting. Uh -huh. More interesting. Very good. Intelligent. The same, more, the same. more intelligent. More intelligent, uh -huh. dangerous. More dangerous. more dangerous. More dangerous. Fast. Faster. 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 Slow. Slower. Slower. And heavy. More heavy. Okay, we have more, more heavy. heavy. Or what is the other? Heavy. Heavier. Heavier. Uh -huh. Heavier. Exactly. Okay. Heavier. In this case, guys, what you have to do, okay, is that we have long adjectives, short adjectives, okay, and don't forget to say than. Okay. That's it. This is a refresh, okay, of what we did yesterday, okay, to practice. Eh, ya por ahí hay algunos que ya hicieron la tarea uno, right? The task number one, that was very nice. There were some problems at the beginning, but then we fixed that little problem, okay? Eh, I think Gabi and, and Nexau, right? They did the exercise yesterday, right after the class, <laughs> okay? Five minutes later after the class, they said, teacher, I finished. I was very nice. The tasks are very easy, okay? So now, after the class or at night, okay, you can have the task number two, okay? Because we are going to be practicing this topic, guys, okay? What is it? The coordinating conjunctions, okay? That's the uh, video conference number two about, okay? And for these guys, I want you to practice this word. Que se memoricen esto. Memoricenselo. Fanboys. Okay, what is the word? Vero, what is the word? Fanboys. Memorize. What is the word? Fanboys. Okay, keep that word in mind, teacher. And why fanboys? 
What, has, what, what is that in English? Well, because we have to memorize letter by letter. Look, farm boys, F, four, A, and, N, nor, B, but, O, R, or, Y, yet, S, so. Okay, so if you put all the first letter of each word, it comes to fun boys. Okay, learning this phrase, you are going to learn the coordinated conjunctions. Okay, that's the name, las conjunciones. Okay, coordinates, right? F for four, A for and, N for nor. But no the soup, <laughs> la sopa. B for but, O for or, Y for yet, S for so. Okay, those are the coordinating, okay, conjunctions. That's it. What is the word that you have to memorize? What is the word? Fanboy. Fanboys. Uh -huh. What is the letter, for example, the, the letter Y? What does it stand for? Why? Yet. Yet. Excellent. S. So. So. Very good. F. Four. 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 Excellent. A. M. M. And. B. But. But. Uh -huh. Very good. N. No. 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 Or. O. Or. or okay so try to remember the word if you forget the word i mean you forget the the, the four and or so yet you can remember fun boys okay this is the word that i want you to keep in mind because we are going to work on this right fun boys you know what the meaning of a f a for example the first one four is yeah you use four when you speak english right Hi, teacher, I want to have this for my... You use that, okay? But maybe you didn't know that the name in English is coordinating conjunction. And, do you know the meaning for and? Right, it's easy, right? E, right? Uh, what is the other one? N for nor, do you know the meaning for nor? Maybe this is new, okay? Do you know the meaning for nor? No? We are going to practice this today, okay? But, you know the meaning, I am pretty sure you know. Or, okay, yet, oh, we practiced this long time ago, some months ago when we were practicing. Have you ever, do you remember? Have you ever eaten? And you say, oh, no yet, todavía no, right? And so, okay, those are the ones. What is the word? Fun boys, okay? Fun boys, that's it. And we are going to start with the number one, okay? Beatrice, help me, eh, eh, Beatrice, my Veronica Beatrice, please help me to, to read, okay, Vero? Coordination, confrontation. No. <laughs> <laughs> Coordinating. <Conjunctions. laughs> I, 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 I don't. The okay, coordinating, coordinating, conjunctions, conjunctions, very good, okay, continue, these conjunctions, these conjunctions are seven very common words, they are very small, made up of three or five letters, that's it, small, small words, right, made up, this is HSD, okay, made up of three, a few word letters, right? So continue, Vero, please. When to use? When to use each coordinating conjunction. Mm -hmm. Reason to communicate addition. Okay, the number one. Thank you, Vero. To communicate addition. What is addition? When you want to put more and more and more and more to the sentence, okay? So you say and. For example, okay, you want to say, hey, teacher, what did you eat yesterday for breakfast? Oh, yesterday I ate uh, beans, uh, 
and uh, what beans, one tamal, <laughs> uh, and oh, and, and cheese, okay, uh, coffee, and a piece of bread. When you see, when you are adding, you está agregando cosas, right? For the same, for the same category, you have to use and. Este significa to communicate addition, okay? I, teacher, yesterday I was tired, bored, I called and very angry, okay? So you are putting the same words, okay, in the same category together and you use this one to add, okay, information, that's it. Continue better with the second one. The second reason. To communicate and contrast. Mm -hmm. We use? We use uh, and but and yet. Excellent, very good. To communicate contrast. Contrast, okay? Contrast is the opposite. For example, if I say, Gabby, opposites, Gabby, ready? Opposites. Opposite. Happy, okay, happy, Gabby? Uh-huh. Uh -huh, the opposite. Uh, I am happy today, but yesterday I am very, no, I am. I was? I was, I was sad. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. What's the opposite? Happy, sad, rich, poor, right? Uh, let me see other one. Uh, friendly, shy. So that's the opposite. So if you want to say something opposite or contrast, uh -huh, you use but or yet. So in this case, yet viene siendo como un pero. Okay? <clears throat> it's another way to say so, but yet. Okay, that's it. It's the same. Continue, Vero, please, with the third reason. The third is to communicate a result or effect. Okay, very good. Result or effect. You have to use so. Okay. Así que, I, I was very, very sleepy yesterday, so I went to bed. ¿Eh? Por eso, fui a dormir. Right? This is a result. This is an effect. Okay? Senia, you remember when you were boyfriend and girlfriend with your husband? Yes? Ah, I, I was so in love with him. We went out together every day and we loved each other. So, we decided to get married. Right? That's it. This is the result or the effect of being very in love with someone, okay? This is one example. Other example I can say, oh, hey guys, I'm sorry, I'm very hungry. Okay, I'm very hungry, uh, I am going to eat. So the sentence is, I was very hungry, so I went to eat, that's it. This is the result, Por es, okay? So you say, communicate result, okay? Así que, O por eso, I don't know, in Spanish we can say so, okay, I went to eat. I did this, I did that, okay? Next, continue, Vero, please. Number four. Number four, to communicate a reason or a cause. Very good. To communicate reason or cause, you use four. These four, guys, es como que dijeran el because, okay? This is like when you want to say reason or cause for, okay? I am here for teaching you. Estoy aquí para, okay? Enseñarles, right? I'm here for, that's it. This is the use of for in this case, for reason, right? Okay, for reasons, that's it. We're gonna see some examples, don't worry, but just I'm going to go over this. Continue, Vero, please, the next. To communicate a choice. To communicate a choice. Uh -huh. You use or. Or. To communicate a choice. For example, I want to learn English or French. I want to eat pizza 
or Chinese food. You see? A choice. So you have to use or. Next, Vero. Communicating a negative choice. Ah, okay. This is new for you. Nor. Nor. This is when you have a negative choice. <clears throat> I don't want. No quiero ni a Pedro ni a Juan. For example, I don't love or I don't want Pedro nor Juan. Okay? Why nor? Because the sentence is negative. The choice is negative. Okay? This is when you want to say me. Okay? I know. Me look. I don't like that. Okay? Not even in my dreams. That's it, okay. So the idea, guys, is here that you have the idea that the coordinated conjunctions, the fan boys, okay, remember the word, are used for different reasons. And addition, but, and yet, contrast. So, result, for, reason, or a positive choice, and nor a negative choice okay do you have any questions right now with the meanings or with the reasons here you can raise your hand or you can let me know right now no no questions franklin claudita questions okay giovanni questions it's everything okay right now yes okay yes very okay. good that's it okay Continue then, okay? Try to remember the, the, the words, fan boys, okay? For example, now I'm gonna ask uh, Juan Carlos, please, to read the examples. Okay. Word to word, uh-huh. Examples, uh, word to word. Most children like cookies and milk. Okay, very good. In this case, you are joining Cookies and milk, word and word, okay? And, lo que dijimos que es addition. Continue, Juan Carlos, phrase to phrase. Phrase to phrase. Uh, the word is hiding. Hidden, hidden. hidden. The word is hidden at the beach or by the lake side. Okay, lake side. very good. That's okay, lake side, very good. ¿Ve? Phrase to phrase. Puede unir palabra por palabra o frase por frase, okay? For example, the goal is hidden at the beach or by the lake side, okay? In this case, you are using or for choice, okay? And for addition. Continue, please, Juan Carlos. Uh, close to close, uh, what you say and what you say and what you do are two different things. Okay, very good. This is a phrase, right? What you say and what you do are two different things. Okay, very good. That's it. So you see, in this case, you can use the fan voice to join words, phrases, or clauses. Okay, the most common when we speak are phrases and, and in this case, in words to words, right? That's it. For example, here we have coordinated conjunctions going between items joined, no at the end, not the beginning, sorry, or at the end. This is something important. They go in the middle of the sentence. The fun boys go in the middle of the sentence, no at the beginning. For example, over here, Giovanni, please read examples. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. I like coffee, but I don't like tea. Okay, very good. Tea. Incorrect, tea. but I don't like tea. I like coffee. Okay, uh -huh. tea. I don't like tea. That's it, okay? So you see, I don't like as, tea. Uh -huh, very good. As Giovanni said, the but is in the middle, is between, okay? Never at the beginning, please, okay? Never at the beginning, never at the end, okay? That's it. This is what the example is about right now i want you to watch this video i'm going to present this video for you 
ok, for uh, the coordinated conjunctions, right? Ok, watch the video please, activate your speakers so you can listen to me. Coordinating conjunctions are small words that connect two independent parts of a sentence. We can remember them with the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Take a minute and memorize them. If you know these words, you'll avoid a lot of comma errors. Fanboys are connectors, and here are some notes on punctuation. If fanboys are connecting two words or phrases, you don't have to use a comma between them. The office party will feature cupcakes and lobster. Commas are also not required if the fanboy connects two verb phrases. We can either order lobster or stay within our budget. If the fanboys are connecting items in a series, use commas between each item. The accounting department will probably recommend cupcakes, celery sticks, and water. If the fanboys connect independent clauses, however, insert a comma after the first clause and before the fanboy. Jane will bake some decoy cupcakes, and Larry will sneak in the lobster. Remember that an independent clause is basically just a sentence, and you can't mash two sentences into one sentence without something between them. That's when you get run-on sentences. Divide them using one of the seven fanboys. Now, there are lots of subordinating conjunctions, but there are only seven coordinating conjunctions, the fanboys. Remember that coordinating conjunctions connect clauses of equal strength, and when they do, they need a comma. Casey is an introvert, yet he actually likes office parties. Yeah! Do these fanboys need commas? Practice punctuating these examples. Office parties tend to be boring, awkward, or awesome. Yes, use commas in a series. Let's hope Larry and the boss don't get into a fight over the lobster. And is a fanboy, but it's connecting two nouns. No comma. Casey loves cupcakes, but he doesn't like lobster. The fanboy but is connecting two independent clauses. Use a comma. Larry breeds genetically modified lobsters after he finishes his workday. No comma needed here. After isn't one of the fanboys. It's a subordinating conjunction, not a coordinating one. So, learn the fanboys and use them confidently. Okay, that's it. In this case, what we could see in the video is that in the fanboys, right, it depends on the punctuation. Most of the fanboys are punctuated at the beginning, okay? Remember, the fanboy is between the sentence. But before the fanboy, so you have to add the comma, okay? For example, comma, but, comma, so, comma, nor, okay, etc. Depends. In this case, when you are using word to word, when you are using words, you don't need, in this case, Okay, a, a sequence, for example, you need the commas, right? I'm going to, um, I'm going to have this, this, this part, okay? Because I need you to, to practice a little bit. I'm going to show you, a, well, at the beginning of the, the, the class, I sent a set of, uh, a, 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 um, a word a document, okay? I hope you can check it uh, in your in your cell phones, right? Okay, because we are going to share this. We are going to share right now. I'm going to share an audio, okay? And we are going to do our first uh, listening practice, okay? In this listening practice, you have to pay attention to the conversations. 
in the conversations, you are going to listen to the fun voice used, okay? We are gonna use this way, okay? But before we do that, we're gonna do some examples together, okay, with the fun voice, let's see. I'm going to write the words here, okay? Can you please tell me a fun, the fun boys, please? Tell me, which are they? Four. Four. And what is the other? And. And. Nor. 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 But. But. but excellent. Or. Or. Jet. Jet. So. And so. Very good. Okay, that's it. These are the fun boys that we have. Okay, so we're going to do some examples together, right? We're going to do some examples. Dijimos, four. Four is four. What is the, the use of four? Adding uh, for choice, negative choice, for reason. For the for reason us. and health. Excellent. For the reason. Okay. Carlita, Joana, can you please tell me one sentence that has reason for in here? Uh, I... I'm here for learning English. Oh, I'm here uh -huh, for learning English, okay? That's it, very good. This is a reason, right? That's it, okay? That's it. This is one with four, and, okay? Let's see, uh, let me see here. Sinia, uh, give me one sentence with and. Um, and remember is for a uh, contrast, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and is for contrast. Um, is for addition. Remember, adding. This is para, para agregar más. Vamos. Okay. Tell me one sentence using and, Sinia, please. I like pizza. And I like pizza. Uh-huh. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I add like more. Pizza. I like pizza and? And huh? I like hamburger. And, okay, that's it. the same sentence, right? And so you say in hamburgers, right? Uh -huh. I like pizza and hamburgers, okay? Very good. Tenemos coma aquí. No, porque estoy compartiendo, estoy uniendo dos palabras. Mira, entonces, you don't have to add the coma here, right? I like pizza and hamburgers. That's it. This is a fun voice for addition. Okay, very good. Next, nor. A ver, exa. It's a choice, but in negative. Let's see if you can make the sentence. If you cannot, I will help you, okay? I, I don't speak French, nor... I don't uh -huh, speak French. French, nor Italian. Nor Italian, excellent. Uh -huh, very good. Aquí es cuando le digo que es negativo. Miren, the negative choice, ¿ve? I don't speak French nor Italian, okay? So this is the use of nor. It's like when you say, no hablo francés ni italiano, all right? <laughs> okay, that's it. This is the word ni, okay? Very good. Uh, this is with nor, okay? Let's see with but, okay? But, okay, one. Itzel, give me one example with but, please. But, but um, okay. <laughs> My sister, <laughs> okay, with your daughter or with your family, do something like, um, Mi hija come, uh -huh. pero no, <laughs> I don't know, uh huh. I don't know, something with but. I, I don't know. <laughs> you are in blank. Okay, maybe somebody can help you. Okay, somebody help, help Itzel, please. 
Uh, okay. Teacher, I like to drink, but no too much. Aha, uh -huh. I like to drink, okay. But? But not too much. Not too much. <laughs> okay, very good, okay. Much. Just just one, right? Just one. Okay, very good, that's it. Or maybe you can say, I like to, to drink, okay. Um, but, okay, uh, I hate, okay, let me see. I, I like to drink uh, here juice, <laughs> but I hate beers, right? Okay, stuff like this. Very good, thank you. You see, but, teacher, aquí yo puedo poner yet. Remember, but and yet is the same. Pero, okay, that's it. So, uh, for example, in this case, well, I will ask some, some, okay, one of you. Okay, or, this is a choice, but look, EXA gave us the example with a negative choice, okay? But now, or is for positive choice, okay? Let's see, uh, Gabby, can you give me one example with positive choice, please? Gabby, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello hi, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -hmm. With or. Choice. Mm -hmm. It's a positive choice. Or. Do you like tea or coffee? Ah, okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Frankie. Would you like tea? Okay or coffee that's it okay look at this okay now gabby give me yours um it's it's a choice okay what do you prefer es como cuando jugamos que que prefieres mm -hmm. le dice carlita este william levy or osuna <laughs> okay it's a it's a choice right so it's positive okay <laughs> I don't like, okay, you say nor, right? I don't like Osuna, nor. Uh -huh, they were, uh -huh. It's a positive choice. In a positive sentence, Gabby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, teacher. You are in blank too, okay. Yeah. Somebody, somebody can help Gavita. Okay, somebody can help Gavi with an example with or. Teacher. Mm -hmm. um, maybe. Maybe can be. Um, I want to buy. I want to buy. A dress. A dress. Uh, a dress. Or. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, shoes. <laughs> or, or shoes, uh -huh. okay, yes. very good, okay, excellent, very good, well, you have two options, dress, shoes, right, so you say, it's a positive choice, when I mean positive choice is that the sentence is positive, okay, and when you say here, or negative, uh -huh, and a negative choice, in this case, is when the sentence is negative, remember, this is me, okay, that's it, me, now we go with the yet, okay? Uh, let me see, uh, Sophie Hernandez, are you there, Sophie? With yet. Yes. Okay. Remember, I... yet is but. Mm -hmm. I didn't, no, I didn't my home yet. My I didn't, uh -huh. I didn't do um, my, my homework. Mm -hmm. Yet. Yet. Uh, like, I will. I will do it. I will. I will do it later. Uh -huh. I'll do it later. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. That's it. I didn't do my homework yet. 
I didn't do my homework yet. I'll do it later. Ok, very good. Aquí como tenemos, miren, dos, dos oraciones. Entonces ahí le pongo la comida. Ok, that's it. It's like here. I like to drink juice, uh, juice, but in this case we need the comida here, right? Ok, for the clothes. ¿Por qué? Porque va aquí una oración completa después. Ok, that's it. Teacher, ¿y en la primera no? No, because pizza and hamburgers are not sentences. They are single words. Okay, very good. And so, what do you have for so? Okay, let me see one example for so. Um, this is like, así que. Okay, one, one volunteer with so. Okay, so, the last fun boy that we have. Okay, so. Teacher. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I, I want to learn English, uh -huh. so I am here. Yeah, very good. So I am here. Very good. This is quiero aprender inglés, por eso estoy aquí. Okay, excellent. Very good. So I'm here. Remember in this case, guys, so is because I use a lot so. Because this is, this is the word that I repeat a lot. But it doesn't mean at the beginning of the sentence is not por eso, okay? So in this case, ve, so por it, that's it. This is a, like what we say, a, a, a muletilla, right? So, um, uh -huh. so be careful, porque también so much, so good, ahí no, ya no sería eh, una fanboy, okay? This is an intensifier. I love you, okay, me quiere. I love you so much, oh, intensification, right? That's it, that is, so be careful with this because it's not just that Picture. one meaning. Mm -hmm. in, this sentence. Sentence, in this sentence, uh, we will use comma or not. And which one? Oh, the last one. Yes, oh, I yes. want to learn mm -hmm. English, comma. Uh -huh. so, uh, so I'm here. Or not. Uh -huh. That's it. It's optional. Mm -hmm. No, in this case, it's, it's, it's okay because you have two sentences, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. That's it. Only when you have word to words, aquí ves palabra con palabra, right? Okay, that's it. This is different. In, you don't need a comma, okay? That's it. Okay, okay so you have, uh, you gave me some examples, okay, with using fun boys. Remember, this is fun boys. Don't forget the word. What is the word? Fun boys. Um, boys. That's it. Very good. Now, my friends, check your WhatsApp, please, and let me know if you can open the file. I am checking right now. Se los mandé a las ten to ten to six, more or less. Okay. It's a it's a word document. It's about conjunctions. Okay. So uh, you have there um, ooh, seven sentences. Simple. Okay. I want you to read the sentences with your partners and choose the correct fanboy word, okay? Accept the invitation right now, please, okay? And let's start working together. And when, when you have the answers, then we're gonna check it, okay, together here. Accept the invitation. Pero sí me levanté tarde. Ok, guys. Girls. Hey, Carlita. Hello, Girl. Itzel. Hello. Ok, ready. Can Hello. you open, can you open the, the document? Oh, yeah, ahorita, the okay. Okay. ok, check it. Ajá, uh -huh. conjunctions too. Ajá, uh -huh. check, please, if you can, if you can open the document. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm 
there you have the document and uh, what you have to do is to choose the correct uh, conjunction, right? Okay. Okay, go ahead, start working, please. Okay. I want to go to the beach, but Mary refused. I creo que así ever. I want to go to the beach, but Mary refused. Mm -hmm. but. What is that? Uh, the number three. Four. Uh, three. Number four. Three. Ah, yes, number three. I want to go to the beach, and then you have three, four options, right? But, or, so, and four. So can you repeat I the think, answer? Frankly? Uh -huh. I think, uh, but. Okay, read the sentence, please, and let's put but in the middle. I want to. Uh, to go to the beach, but Mary refused. Okay, very good. Repeat, refused. Ah, refused. Excellent, uh -huh. very refused. good, okay, nice. Okay, continue please, continue working. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Soy allergic a los gatos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm allergic to cats. Mm -hmm. Pero tres. Uh -huh. So, what is the answer? We have or, for, yet, or so. Uh, yet. Mm -hmm. It's contrast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, now read the sentence. Complete. Put in the conjunction in the middle, please. Read the complete sentence, Sinia. Uh, I am allergic to mm -hmm. cats, yet I have three of them. Of them, okay. Very good. That's it. Remember, contrast, yet. It's like if you say, but, okay? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue, please, with all the sentences. Again, um... Oh, my God. Hello, girls. Hi. Hello, Hi. hello. Hi, morning, Araceli. Do you have the document, Araceli? Yes. Okay, very good. Can you tell me the sentence number one, please? Okay. Um, <clears throat> could you, <clears throat> could you rather have mm -hmm. cheese? Uh -huh. For Bologna on your sandwich. Okay, very good. Or oh, Bologna on your sandwich, very good. Okay, that's it. This is or, right? Number two, Brendita, do you have the answer, Brenda? Hola, teacher, fíjese que Hello, se me ha trabado, se me ha trabado la, la compu. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces estoy tratando de, o sea, he quedado solo así con, con el audio, pero... Yeah, that's ok. O, o you, no can puedo. Check, you can check, eh, no sé si tendrán el celular ahí, también se puede desde el celular abrirlo, ok? Just in case you, 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 you have a problem with your computer. Uh -huh. del celular ahí vas en la aplicación de, de Zoom y ahí mismo como que se estuviera en una computadora ok, That's okay. I, I will come back Gabriela is asking for help Gabi hi teacher do you have uh, any questions yes uh, with the sentence number four number four uh -huh. ok, tell me uh, I am allergic to cat uh -huh. uh, I don't understand the what the the conjunction the is. conjunction use uh -huh, uh -huh. because for us the correct uh, but mm -hmm. yes so is is correct but is correct uh -huh. but remember that but has a, a a brother what is the brother for but. That is similar. Because. No, because no. It's contrast. Remember. 
at the beginning when I gave you when I gave you the when I gave you the, the when I gave you the the, the, the the stuff there okay I show you here ya se los muestro acá miren okay look is the brother miren en sus pantallas acá okay huh? that's it miren contrast dice but y cuál es el hermano what yet. is the brother yet exactly okay so, si usted no encuentra but, encuentra ah, okay. Ah, okay. That's it. Okay, good. Cecilia, tell me. Carlita, Beatriz, thank you for waiting. Teacher. I was with, 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 with uh, Gabby. <laughs> tell me. I am confused. Okay. In which sentence? Um, in I sen ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Fine. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Okay, don't worry. Fine. Uh, fine. Uh, yes, fine. Thomas will be late to work. Uh -huh. Llegar tarde al trabajo. Uh -huh. He has a dental appointment. Yes. Mm, it's correct for. It's a consequence. Uh -huh. Es la consecuencia por cual va a llegar tarde al trabajo. Is the consequence. Eh, Telling the, 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 the reason why he's going to be late for work. So, como es consecuencia, como el resultado, what, what conjunction are you going to use? But is contrast. Or is choice. So it's not a possibility. Okay? For, ah, for is a result. And nor negative choice. So what is the answer? For. Oh. Mm -hmm. Read the sentence now. Es como que dijeran, Tomás va a llegar tarde al trabajo porque tiene una cita dental. Right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Remember, no, for... Estaba pensando al revés. Ah, ok. Que for... el, el contrast era bad. Uh -huh. No, eh, eh, for is result. Es el because. If you try to keep that, like, like similar, right? Because. Yet... And but are the same, okay? That's okay. it. Okay, very nice. Other nice question? Teacher. Okay, you're welcome. No questions? No more questions? Um, no? Okay, no. good. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Do you have any questions, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher. Dale, dale, dale. Ah, ok, bueno. I'm, I'm waiting. Uh -huh. Ok, es que teníamos algunas dudas con, con por ejemplo, eh, cuáles son los que llevan coma y cuáles son los que no. Ah, ok. Eh, todas llevan coma, ¿sí? Excepto cuando tú estás jugando, ok, con palabras. O sea, palabritas, right? For example, miren number one. Look at number one. Would you rather have cheese, bologna on your sandwich? Si se fija, cheese es una palabra. Mm -hmm. Bologna, póngale otra cosa, jamón, but ham es otra palabra. Como va palabra con palabra, no lleva coma. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Pero si se fija... Este, si se fija ya en la número 3, hay una coma. ¿Por qué? Porque ya va separando dos oraciones, dos sentences. ¿Ok? So, la regla está que cuando son palabritas las que usted va separando, ¿ok? No va a ponerle coma. But when you have sentences, ¿ok? Dos oraciones y las une por un fanboy, ahí me le pone coma. Okay, that's okay. It. That's it. So, in the number one, no coma. Okay, the number two, como les quedo? What is the answer for the number two? His two favorite, favorite sports. For our football and tennis. And tennis. Lleva coma, Kike? No, right? No, no. coma. ¿Por qué? Porque football is one word. And tennis, one word, no coma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see. Entonces Let's... sería el caso de que, eh, digamos, yo dijera, eh, me gusta la pizza, pero no me gusta la hamburguesa y ya habría una coma porque yo ya estaría... Two sentences. 
okay. I like pizza, comma, but I don't like onions, right? Uh -huh. In the pizza, right? Oh, you have two sentences, you put a comma somewhere, okay? Y, uh -huh. y otra, otra consulta, uh -huh. eh, digamos, Tell me. como en, 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 el, en, bueno, en la gramática en inglés, este, a veces hay como reglas, pero aquí no importaría si yo pongo una coma, eh, no hay un fanboy exclusivo o cómo sería, porque no. estamos viendo con but y yet, o sea, uh -huh. así vienen a ser similares. Entonces, yes, they are similar, yeah. son brothers. Sí. Uh -huh. Es como el because oh. and for, because and for, brothers, right? Si se fijan, el, por aquí le salió una confort. Eh, I don't know. Dígame eh, cuál, cuál le salió confort. Thomas, Ajá. Thomas. Thomas will, will be late to work for he has a dental appointment. Ajá. Be, uh, very good. If you don't want to say for, you can use because. So you say, Thomas will be late for work because he has a dental appointment. Right? So it's the same, okay? But because it's not here, it's not considered to be a, a fanboy here, right? So it, you use yet, but, contrast, for, and, because, and in this case is result, cause and effect, okay? That's it. Todo lo que quiera decir por qué, por qué, right? So you can use for, okay? That's it. So if you see, coma, aquí va una coma también porque you have two sentences, right? That's it. Other questions you have? No questions? Sí, es que yo tenía, eso tenía mis dudas porque en qué momento okay. nos vamos a ocupar, o sea, porque yo pudiera decir Bob o Jet en algunas interrogantes. Que yes, it's true. Uh -huh. No problem. It's the no, same. No it's the same, Kike. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. That's it. No problem. Okay, continue and finish, please. Hello, tell me. Hello. Hello. I have a question. Uh -huh. Tell me, Itzel. Eh, en la pregunta número cinco, no sé, mm, te... Number six, Jennifer does not like to swim. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, okay. Tenemos eh, uh -huh. la duda si es nor o es but. Yo sabía, según lo que entendí, es uh -huh. que cuando una oración está en negativo, uh -huh. no, ¿verdad? Exactly. Pero me, pero me dice Carlita que ella este, le puede poner but. Eh, but is different. In this case is completely different. Ya si le pone but, ya cambio la oración completamente. Because nor es ni. And but is pero is completely different, okay? So in this case, the number six, I'm gonna read it for you. Jennifer does not like to swim. Jennifer no le gusta nada antes, okay? Ni, ni, okay? In este caso, eh, ni montar a bicicleta. Cycling in this case viene siendo la, el ciclismo, right? Ni hacer, ni, le, ni, ni disfruta hacer ciclismo, ¿ok? Pero no puedo poner but, because uh -huh. but in this case, no puede ser Jennifer, no le gusta nadar, pero no, le, no disfruta el ciclismo. No, no, I, I, it doesn't have sense, ¿ok? So in this case, is eh, because the sentence is negative, you say nor, Ok, no. Ah, yo no había entendido eso y ah, okay. me, lo estaba, me lo estaba explicando. Ajá, uh -huh. no. Okay. Por ejemplo, Carlita, when you say, ahora en inglés, cuando hablen en inglés ya no vayan a decir, ay, no, teacher, I don't like English or other language. No, ya no diga or. Porque en español, we say, no me gusta el inglés u otro idioma, right? Pero en inglés, como ya dijiste, I don't. It's negative, so you say, I don't like English, nor other languages, right? Other example, okay? Ay, no, no me gusta ni la playa ni el mar, ni, ni perdón, ni la, ni la montaña. So, en inglés básico, allá decíamos, I don't like the beach or the mountains, right? That's it, así nos acostumbramos. Ahora, 
que ya vamos un grado más arriba, decimos negative sentences. You use nor, the conjunction nor. Why, teacher? Because the sentence is negative. I don't like the beach nor the mountains. Right? Okay, okay. That's it. Okay. I don't like, I hate, of todo lo que sea negativo, right? Is nor. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 If you have any other answer, you and you can let me know. Okay. We're gonna uh, check yes. the answers. Uh huh. Yes, it's a yes. um, number number five. Number five. I am a vegetarian. vegetarian. Yes. Uh, aquí nosotros eh, decidimos que fuera but. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's, it's like when you say, soy so, vegetariana, pero, no, pero como carne. no como nada de carne. Uh -huh. mm, it sounds weird. Porque yo no dijera así en español cuando digo, soy vegetariana porque no como carne. No. Ese, ese es el, 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 soy vegetariana, por eso no como carne. Por esa razón no como carne. So remember, result. Okay, it's a result. Okay, so if it is a result, what is the answer? Number five. So, so excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. I am vegetarian, so I don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. okay, it's because you are having interference with the Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's difficult, this fanboy. It's difficult because you need to know exactly the, the use, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the use uh -huh. for the fan voice. That's it. But once you have the, 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 the use here, it's easy. Okay. It's very easy. Okay. More questions? No? No. Okay. We're going to check the answers together. Thank you, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Franklin. <laughs> okay, hey. guys. Good. Now that we are back, okay. Hi. Hello, hello, everybody. That's nice. Okay, my friends, time to turn on your cameras, please. I, I'm going to have, it's time for the attendance today. Okay, please, everybody, okay, with your cameras on. Sophie Franklin. Okay, Giovanni, Carlita, eh, Giovanni, where, where are you, Giovanni? Okay, Sophie, okay, Franklin, Carlita, Joana, Enrique, okay, that's nice. Eh, some, is somebody missing? Yes, Ismael, I think is missing, okay. Okay, who else is missing? Well, um, remember to say, I'm here, present, etc. Okay, Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Uh, activate your microphones, please. Uh -huh. Okay, Carla Beatriz Aguilar. <laughs> Let me check. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to do it here. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to unmute <laughs> yeah. everybody. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, Carlita Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Okay, very good. Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldan. Present. Good. Osmani Etzau de Leon Hernández. Present. Nice. Eh, Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Eh, Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez is not here. She's sick. Tiene una eh, incapacidad de seguro social. Okay. Eh, Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Good. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Very good. Um, Dalila Estela Silva Moran. Well, Dalila sent a message to me. She has a terrible migraine today. Okay. Ella ha estado bastante enfermita estos días. Vamos a reportarla ahí. María Araceli González. Present. Okay, very good. Cindy Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Yeah. Very nice. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. 
Present. Very nice, Sophie. Juan Carlos Molina Martinez. Present. Present, Juan Carlos. Very, very elegant, Juan Carlos, right? Claudia Iliana, Iliana Casun de Mengíbar. Present. Nice. Eh, Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present. Nice, very good. José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera. Present. Present, very good. Eh, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Present. Gavita has problems with her camera, but maybe we can do it in your cell phone, right, Gaby? Okay. Oscar Xavier Morales. Okay, well, okay. And eh, Carla Joana Martinez de Martinez. Present. Okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to call again. Well, it's here, Dalila. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present teacher. Ah, okay, Dalila, welcome. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Nice to have you here. Okay, very good. Okay, so we have this the same attendance. Congratulations, everybody. Carlita Joana, nice to see you. Nice <laughs> <laughs> to see you too. <laughs> okay, very good. My friends, we're gonna check the answers. Okay, creo que han tenido una batalla con los fanboys today. Okay, we're gonna check the answers here. Number one, eh, Etsau, please give me the answer. Number one. Uh, would you rather have cheese or bologna on your sandwich? Okay, very good. The answer for the number one is or. Excellent. Number two, eh, Franklin. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh -huh. Go ahead. His two, his two favorite, favorite, favorite sport are fun, football and tennis. And tennis. Very good. Yes. So the fun boy for the number two is and. Okay. Very good. And Araceli, it's... number three. Okay. Um, I wanted mm -hmm. to go to the beach, but Mary refused. Excellent, very good. But Mary yes. refused. Okay, excellent, very, very good. Okay, and number four. Okay, Carlita Joana, please. Number four. Hello, Carlita, are you there? I see your face, but you are frozen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Number number uh, four. Four. Mm -hmm. I am allergic to cat, uh, so I have three of them. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Number four. Somebody else has a different answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Carlita Beatriz, give me the answer. I am allergic to cats, yet I have three of them. Ah, this is yet. Okay, yet. remember, mm -hmm. porque espero. Soy alérgica, pero tengo tres cats. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's like that. Okay, I'm allergic. Uh -huh. I, I, I am toxic. I am, like a meme, right? I am toxic, but I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Yet I have a boyfriend. Uh -huh. So that's it. It's, 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 it's contrast, right? That's it. Something positive with something negative. I don't know. Okay, so I'm a vegetarian. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm allergic, allergic to cats. Yet I have three of them. Okay. And no matter if the person is eating, right? Or whatever, but she has three cats. That's it. So, number five, okay. Uh, Kike, please, Enrique Bermudez, give me one, uh, the answer for the number five. Vegetarian, mm -hmm. so I, I do not eat any meat. Okay, very good. I any am meat. a vegetarian, so I don't eat any meat, very good. Por eso no como carne, right? So I don't eat any meat. Remember, this is so. Very nice. Number five, eh, Giovanni. Giovanni Orantes, please. Number five, Thomas. 
Okay, uh, Thomas will be late to work, but he has a dental appointment. Aha, uh -huh. number five. Somebody can help me with the number five, okay? Jova, but is not correct here. Maybe four? Okay, four. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Yes, four. Four, he has a dental appointment. Remember, four is, it, it sounds like this. Thomas llegará tarde al trabajo. Este, porque, yeah, for, okay. Si pongo pates, pero él tiene un, una eh, cita dental, it sounds weird, okay? So, the correct here, Jova, please correct it, is for, okay? For, that's it. Because it's not contrast, it's not contrast, it's result, okay? Result. Number eh, six, okay? Eh, let me see here. Eh, Brenda, please, number six. Brenda Rosales. Hola. Give me the number six, please, the answer. Sería, Jennifer does not, sí, Jennifer does not like to swim, but does she enjoy cycling? Mm -hmm. Cycling. 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 Ah, okay, okay. She said, but. Aha. Uh -huh. But. Okay, other answer for this one? For the number six, other other answer that you have here? Jennifer does not like to swim, mm -hmm. nor does she enjoy cycling. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Nor, nor does she enjoy cycling, ni disfruta montar o eh, bicicletear, well. <laughs> okay, cicli, el ciclismo, right? That's it. In this case, eh, Brenda is nor because it's a, 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 a choice but in negative. Remember, nor in this case means ni, okay? Ni, that's okay. it. Claudita, eh, number seven, Claudita. Claudia Iliana. Sería... Jackson wanted to eat another piece of cake, mm -hmm. but he was on a diet. But, <laughs> okay, he was on a diet, okay? That's it. This is common, right? <laughs> okay. I I'm hungry, okay? I, I want to eat a hamburger, but I am on a diet. I'm hungry, yet I am on a diet, okay? That's it. Very, very good. Those are... Farm boys, okay. The letter F for A and A, the N for nor B, but, but excellent O or, or. and Y, uh huh, and Y and yes. S and yes. S so for so. Okay, that's it. Quieren agregar and. Quieren contrastar, contrast, but or yet. Okay, both are okay. If you want to give result, okay, for. Okay, that's it. A result for something, okay, un efecto, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. El, 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 el. Because, el hermano de because, sería el for, okay? That's it. Por eso decimos, I, I study English because I want to get a job, a good job, a better job, okay? Or a job in the United States, I don't know. I study English for I want to study uh, in another country. I don't know, stuff like that. It's the same, okay? Por ahí me pedían la diferencia entre but, yet, in this case, is the same, guys. The fun boys are between the sentence, right? In the middle, no at the end, no at the beginning. Okay, now, my friends, we are going to do, okay, this part, okay, the listening part, okay? Are you ready? Connect your speakers very well, okay? Because we're going to have the first listening practice for this uh, for this week 
So what are we going to do here? In here, my friends, uh, you are going to have, okay, a video. Well, this is a video. And there are four conversations, right? In the conversations, the conversations are very simple. Uh, in the conversations, people are using the fun voice, okay? When you finish, okay, listening to the conversations, I'm going to display some questions and you give me the answer from the questions, right? Obviously, I'm going to play the conversation, okay, no one time. We're going to play it two times. If you need a third time, okay? Let's uh, watch the videos, please, and pay attention to the audio. I like this soup. It's so yum, yet healthy. It is good, but it is high in sodium. Yeah, but it has lots of veggies. True, but it's not cheap, nor easy to make. Okay, you don't like it. I do, I'm just being honest. Conversation 2. Where will you go for summer? I am not sure yet. I will go to the beach or the lake. I would go, but my son has school. Ah, he has school in summer. Yeah, he has to go to school this summer or he will not graduate. Conversation 3. What will you do tomorrow? I have to work, but I finish early. Mm, I don't work, so I will go somewhere. Where will you go? I think to the forest, for the leaves are changing colors now. Well, have a good time and take lots of pictures. Conversation 4. Do you go out much? No, I don't drink and I don't like crowds. Yeah, me too. But I hate staying home. So what do you do? Watch movies? No, I don't like movies, nor do I like TV shows, so I tend to read a lot. Sounds boring, but each to his own. Okay, I'm going to play once again. Okay, maybe you can see the... the I'm going to show you the questions now. Okay. The number one, she says the soup is... And then you have two answers. Great. No, not great. Number two, she cannot, the conversation two, she cannot go, okay, because she has class or her son cannot go. Number three, he will go to the forest because leaves are changing, las hojas, right, leaves, or he is going camping. Number four, he does not go out because... She does not like crowds or she has no money, okay? These are the questions, okay? If you want, that's it. Pay attention to the alternatives. I'm going to play the audio once again. I like the soup. It's so yum, yet healthy. It is good, but it is high in sodium. Uh, but it has lots of veggies. True, but it's not cheap nor easy to make. Okay, you don't like it. I do, I'm just being honest. Conversation two. Where will you go for summer? I am not sure yet. I will go to the beach or the lake. I would go, but my son has school. Ah, he has school in summer? Yeah, he has to go to school this summer or he will not graduate. Conversation 3. What will you do tomorrow? I have to work, but I finish early. Mm, I don't work, so I will go somewhere. Where will you go? I think to the forest, for the leaves are changing colors now. Well, have a good time and take lots of pictures. Conversation 4. You go out much? No, I don't drink, and I don't like crowds. Yeah, me too. But I hate staying home. So what do you do? Watch movies? No, I don't like movies, nor do I like TV shows, so I tend to read a lot. Sounds boring, but each to his own.
Okay, I'm gonna display the, the stuff here. Okay, my friends, uh, and I'm going to send this, okay, uh, to the WhatsApp group, okay? I'm going to send the, the questions, okay, to you, so you can practice, okay, right now with your partners. The idea with this, guys, is to pay attention, okay, to the, the audio. That's it. Check right now in your WhatsApp, please, and give me only one alternative, okay? I'm gonna give you five minutes the most, okay? Let's see. Let's go, everybody, please. Accept the invitation, and let's circle or check the correct answer over there. Eh, teacher, yes, habría sir, que agregarle, hay que agregarle eh, eh, conju la conjugación también, aparte de la respuesta. No, 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 no. just underline the answer. Only ah, li mm -hmm. Ok, listo. Yes, don't worry. Thank you. She said the soup is great. Um, in, en la dos. In number two. <laughs> I know. Speak in English, speak in English. Okay. Okay, teacher. What is the number? What is the number one? What do you have in the number one? Uh, B. B. Uh -huh. Not that great. It's not that great. Uh -huh. Number two. Um, she cannot go because she has class. Her son cannot go. Mm. She has class. She has class or, she, or her son cannot go. Okay. Discuss the answer, right? Remember, if you make a mistake, I'm going to play the video again. Okay. If you make a mistake, you can reject the answers, right? La B de Ping Marine, the top thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. What do you have in the number one? What do you have in the number one, Candita? Uh, letter B. Letter B. Uh-huh. Number two. Uh, for me it's letter B, but it tells say letter A. Oh my God, so you have two answers there and you have two possibilities. So someone is right and someone is completely wrong. Okay, don't worry. Check in your notebooks your answers, right? Just compare if you have the same. I'm going to play the video again and then you can recheck if you made a mistake, okay? Okay. okay. Continue, continue uh, making your choices. Hola. Hello, Brendita. Hello. Shelly, I had a, what is the, 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 the answer for the number one? Do you have it? Great. Letter A. Sí. Okay. Number two. She cannot go because she has class or her son cannot go. Araceli? Um, letter B. Her son can go. Aha, uh -huh. can go. Uh -huh. can go. Uh -huh. Number three. Uh -huh. Number three. He will go to the forest because. Let it be. Uh -huh. Leaves are changing. Chang changing. Changing. I don't know how. Changing. changing. Uh -huh. That's okay. Letter A. 
leaves are changing. Letter a. And letter B, he's going camping. So what is the answer? A or B? I think eight. Eight. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Well, I'm going to play the audio again. Okay. So you can recheck the answers, right? Continue okay. with the number four. And that, that's the last one. Okay. That we have. Okay, guys, finish, right? Yes. Okay, can you can you tell me the number one, Osmani and, and Giovanni, you give me the number two. Number one is B, not that great, mm -hmm. because he was honest. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> number two, Giovanni? Number two is letter B, mm -hmm. not go to go ah, cannot go uh -huh. mm -hmm. good number number three on money is number a leaves are changing aha uh -huh. letter a and number four Jova. number four letter a she doesn't not like chrome crowds uh -huh. crowds is like a lot of people okay good 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 we're gonna check it again okay Thank you, thank you. That's great. Here I am. Uh -huh. Senia, do you need any help? Hi, tell me. Teacher, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, for which one? Four? Number four. Mm -hmm. In all of them. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's true. Uh -huh. and it's true in all of them. In all of them. Okay, let's yes, see. Uh, I'm going to play the audio again. Don't worry. Okay? Thanks. Uh -huh. We're going to check it again. Now that you have the questions, we're going to check it again. Don't okay. worry. Okay. We're going to okay. do it right now. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to play the audio once again. Okay. So you can recheck your answers. Okay. I'm going to play the four conversations. Okay. So you can check the answers uh, that you chose, okay, with your partners. Let's listen once again. You don't like it. I do, I'm just being honest. Conversation two. Where will you go for summer? I am not sure yet. I will go to the beach or the lake. I would go, but my son has school. Ah, he has school in summer. Yeah, he has to go to school this summer or he will not graduate. Conversation three. What will you do tomorrow? I have to work, but I finish early. Mm, I don't work, so I will go somewhere. Where will you go? I think to the forest, for the leaves are changing colors now. Well, have a good time and take lots of pictures. Conversation 4. Do you go out much? No, I don't drink and I don't like crowds. Yeah, me too. But I hate staying home. So what do you do? Watch movies? No, I don't like movies, nor do I like TV shows, so I tend to read a lot. Sounds boring, but each to his own. Okay, that's it. Now that we have a listen to it once again, now we're going to check the answers, okay? Number one, I need one volunteer for giving me the answer for the number one. She says, uh huh. Okay, go ahead. She says the soups, the soups, the soup is, uh -huh. uh, the soups is great. Great. Okay, this is the answer for you, Franklin. Great. Do you have another answer? Other alternative? I don't know. Uh huh. Yes, I think that is. She says. She says the soup is not that great. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that no that great. Okay, let's see. We have a polemic here <laughs> because 
you said that. Listen, listen, listen to the first conversation. I like the soup. It's so yum, yet healthy. It is good, but it is high in sodium. Yeah, but it has lots of veggies. True, but it's not cheap, nor easy to make. Okay, you don't like it. I do. I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says uh, a lot of, like in Spanish, a lot of peros. <laughs> okay, so she said the soup is great. No, great. It's good, but okay, well, no, that is good, but no, that great. So the answer is B. no, B. that great. Letter B. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, very good. Number two, somebody else wants to share the answer? Vero, yeah. thank you, Vero. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Uh -huh. Number two. Mm -hmm. Vero or me? <laughs> you, go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that she cannot go because her son has no go. Go. Aha. Uh -huh. Her son cannot go. Everybody agrees? Or you have a different answer? I agree. B. Aha. Uh -huh. B. Everybody says B. Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. yes. let's see what's going on with this girl. Okay. Not cheap, nor easy. Okay, you don't like it. I do, I'm just being honest. Okay. Conversation two. Where will you go for summer? I am not sure yet. I will go to the beach or the lake. I would go, but my son has school. Uh I would go, Iria, but my son has school, right? That's it, like classes, my son. Ah, he has school in summer. Uh -huh. He has school in summer. Yeah, he yeah. has to go to school this summer or he will not graduate. He has to go to school this summer or... He's not going to graduate. So the answer is letter B. Perfect. Number three, somebody else. Other person, please, who wants to share the answer? Me. Okay, very good. Thank you. Read mm -hmm. the, the sentence and give me the correct answer. Mm -hmm. He will go to the forest because leaves are changing. Okay, leaves are changing. Uh, any other answer? If you have a different answer? No, I agree. No. Mm -hmm. Everybody agrees? Okay, four yeah. leaves are changing. Okay, good. Let's see. I am not sure yet. Or my son has. He has school. Yeah, will not graduate. Okay, conversation three. Conversation three. What will you do tomorrow? I have to work, but I finish early. Mm, I don't work, so I will go somewhere. Where will you go? I think to the forest, for the leaves are changing colors now. Oh, where will you go? Mm, I think to the forest, for the leaves are changing now, right? So, and the colors, right? That's it. For the leaves, ¿ve? Porque las... Están, las, las, las hojas están cambiando, right? That's it. So, it's okay. For the leaves are changing. Excellent. Very good. Number four, somebody else? Other person who wants to share? Me. Number four. Okay. Very good, Vero. Okay. She does not go because she does, does not let crops. Ah, because she does not like crowds, okay? Crowds, remember, comes from crowded, a lot of people, okay? A lot of people. Let's see. Let's recheck, okay? This is conversation number four. Conversation four. Do you go out much? No, I don't drink and I don't like crowds. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. But I hate staying home. Do you go out much? No. no. But I hate staying home. Drink, and I don't like crowds. I yeah, don't me. drink, uh huh, and I don't like crowds. Okay, very good. So mm -hmm. in this case, she does not like crowds. 
that's, that's it. And then the you go. Well, there is here, he is going camping. No, his leaves are changing. Okay, here. Okay, there is a, a mistake there. Okay, that's it. Very good, guys. This is your first listening. Remember, it's not the same to listen with earphones or in the classroom, okay, but being very connected, okay, that's good. Fun boys, remember, as I said before, the conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions for, es el hermano gemelo de because, el but, el gem, hermano gemelo de quien, dijimos, right? Yet. Yet. Excellent. Very good. Ajá. Those are similar in used. Ok. Y cuál es la diferencia? Itzel de nor and or. What is the difference, Itzel? Or okay, and nor. The difference is um, nor is the word negative. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So use the word in negative. In negative, very good. Uh -huh. And or, or is two choices. For two choices in positive. Positive, excellent. Uh -huh. That's it, very good. That's it. Negative choices, positive, okay, choices. That's it. Very, very, very good. That's it. And now that you know that, well, ahora que lean ya su manual, oh my God, you will understand, okay, why it is for, okay, eh, exactly. This is on page number eh, 11, okay, in your manuals. I'm displaying this to you so we can eh, here check. Simple sentences with coordinating conjunctions, fanboys, right? This is the topic that we practice today. And we have here, Carlita, Joana, please, can you read the, 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 the box? An adjective, activate your microphone, please. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, simple sentences with coordinating mm -hmm. uh, conjunct conjunctions. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Conjunctions. Uh -huh. And adjective clause is also called a relative clause. Mm -hmm. Close. For explain reason or purpose, just like because. Okay. You see, for is just like because. It's similar. Continue. And? And? As, as one thing to another. Mm -hmm. Continue. Nor, nor present an alternative negative ideal idea. idea to an already present negative one. Okay, very good. In a negative idea. Uh -huh. Okay. But, but show contrast. Mm -hmm. Or? Or? Present an alternative uh, or a choice. Or a choice, very good. Yet? Yet, introduce a contrasting idea that follows the presenting ideal logical. Idea logical. Uh -huh. That's it. This is a contrasting, right? It's similar to but. Uh -huh. And so? In the case effect, result or consequence. Or consequence. That's it. And the punctuation, para los que me preguntaban fue la puntuación, right? The punctuation is sentence, coma, fanboy, sentence. Excepto cuando van palabras, dijimos, right? Cuando van palabritas, vea, pero en Frank no se le pone el, la cola, okay? That's it. So in this case, the punctuation is a coma. The sentence, coma, the fanboy, okay, whatever whatever words you have here, plus the sentence here, okay? And then we have the little exercise that we're going to finish with, okay? And it says the number eight. Thank you. Uh, Carlita, Joana, please, can you, no, Joana, Carlita, Beatriz, can you read the instructions, okay? Read the instructions here for this exercise. Mm, okay. Uh... Letter A, uh, number A. Number A, uh-huh. Add the 
corresponding punctuation to the sentences below, check answers with a classmate. Okay, that's it. Okay, number one, read it please. Um, I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. Mm -hmm. Number two. Restaurants need to offer specialty dishes. And Special, they, specialty. Specialty dishes. Specialty. And they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Number three. The delivery person arrived late, so we go to food for free. For free. Okay, that's it. So here we have the stuff. We have to add the punctuation. Okay, Claudita, look at the sentence number one and tell me where do you consider, okay, the punctuation goes. Number two, number three, we have here. Remember here we have the, like the structure. Mm -hmm. In the first sentence, you, you read it like this, a, a Claudita, example. I go to comma expensive restaurant, okay? Uh -huh. Tell me so I can, I can know. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for you here. Mm -hmm. uh, this sentence, uh, I go to what? spend uh, the first? Yes, the number one. Mm -hmm. I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. Uh -huh. Where is the comma here? Where does the comma go? Mm -hmm. I go to the expensive restaurants, comma. Here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Miren que extraño la pizarra, como no se imagina. <laughs> okay. So I think it's here. Creo que queda, ¿verdad? Ay, more or less. Ajá. Uh -huh. Well, more or less, you can see that. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's here. I go to expensive restaurants, comma, for their service are which is very good, okay? Pero, I have, thank you, Claudita. I have another question, Pero. Aquí hay una fanboy, and. Iría una coma aquí, do we have a coma here? What do you think? Oh. Service, yeah, después dice dishes. Service, dishes. Service, dishes. Coma o no coma? No coma. No, no, coma. no, 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 no. because uh, two words are subject. Perfect, excellent. Aprendió, uh -huh. very good, nice. Uh -huh. So only if it is a sentence, uh -huh. but when there is words, es una palabra, a service, and dishes, a word, so you don't need commas here, okay? That's it. So here, I'm so sorry, todavía no me gusta como me quedo. <laughs> okay, the comma here. Ahí está, okay, there we go. Number two, volunteer, volunteer for the number two. You read it exactly like Claudita, restaurant need coma, to offer a special coma, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Comma. Okay, it's it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think the word don't need comma because mm -hmm. the, the fan fanboy mm -hmm. is what is a fanboy by the way? What is a fanboy? Restaurants, uh, need... restaurants need to the to often specialty dishes and they the fanboy is and the fanboy and is and aha uh -huh. do you need a comma or not? Not comma. No coma. Mm, sure? No. What do you mm. think, eh, Etza? Let's see, Etza. Uh -huh. I think that coma is after dishes. Ah, 
Okay, read the sentence now, please, and tell me where the comma goes. A restaurant needs to offer a specialty dishes, comma, and they have to offer take out in case you are in a hurry. In a hurry, uh -huh. Okay, so you mean that the, that the comma is here, right? That's it, well, once again, it's a little, oh my God, what did I do? Okay, so it's here. Okay, that's it. Let me check. Okay, I think it's gonna be correct here. Okay, very good. Why here not? Okay, aquí vamos. Itzel, yo le ayudo acá porque es que aquí no. Si se fija que service y dishes son dos palabras. Okay, service, mm -hmm. servicio, dishes, platos, right? So cuando van mm -hmm. dos palabras, Itzel, you don't need comas, no coma. ¿Ok? Pero okay. si se fija aquí, and, ¿ok? Lleva adelante de and, lleva dishes, pero lleva una oración entera, miren. Restaurant mm -hmm. did offer a specialty dishes, and, y después de and, after and, si se fija, ya yo no, no lleva dishes, dog, cat, no. It's a sentence. They have to offer, take out in case you are in a hurry. Because this is a sentence, so you have two sentences, you put comma before and, okay? That's it. Okay. This is, this is the, the, the difference. Y aquí dijimos que eh, eh, here, eh, I deleted the sentence, okay? This is the comma here. Restaurants, comma, for their service and dishes are very good. And the number two, restaurants need to offer specialty dishes, comma, and they have to take offer, they have to offer take out in case you are in a hurry, okay? Now you understand why it's a, in here you need and you don't need a comma? And the first, uh, no need comma because uh, you have our word. words yeah. exactly and in the number yeah. two you need and the, the comma. number two mm -hmm. need the comma because a uh, first sentences and a uh, second sentence yes mm -hmm. because then you have two complete sentences right a clave teacher, ¿cómo saber si es una oración completa? Well, you have a subject. They, o puede decir people, Maria, okay, o, o my dog, or my house, or El Salvador, okay? So, you have to know that this is a subject, okay? That's why it has okay. a comma in here. Nice, okay? Number three, okay, number three, number three. Somebody else wants to share, okay, the answer for the number three? The delivery person arrived late, so we go to uh, we yeah. got the food for free. Uh huh. The delivery person arrived arrived late, comma, so we go the food for free. Uh huh. So we have here the answer, right? After late, uh, Juan Carlos. Yes. There we go. Okay, let me check if it is well the position okay that's it the delivery person arrived late so we got the food for free okay very 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 good excellent that's it so you see we have the punctuation over here okay we have the punctuation there questions preguntas if you have questions let me know okay no tenga pena don't be don't be afraid, okay? This is like if we are in the class, okay? So if you have questions, tell me. If you have a doubt, a comment or something, let me know. For, eh, fanboy, and, fanboy, so, fanboy. Aquí hay otro fanboy teacher, yes. But the difference is that this is a word, this is a word. Se pone a coma only when you have two sentences, full sentences, okay? And they are separated like that. That's it. Okay, questions with this? No, Senia, it's okay. 
¿Cuáles son los gemelos, Cynthia? What are the, the twins? ¿Cuáles son los gemelos, los twins? Los fanboys que son iguales. Uh -huh. ¿Do you remember? Jet. Jet. And the other is? Ajá, uh -huh. but. Ok, remember, they are twins. Y hay un four. Se parece mucho al because. Ok, that's it. Then, guys, just, just for finishing in this part, ok, um, page number nine in your manuals, you have here a conversation where you can have, aquí, we have a, we can find the, the, the different uh, uses of uh, comparative with long adjectives and short adjectives, ok. Okay, Luigi and Carla, okay, we have this conversation, okay, for example, here, um, uh, Exa, you can be Luigi, please, okay, and Sinia, you are going to be Carla, okay, let's check. This is just a wrap up, para que vean cómo se usa en una conversación, okay, how we use it in a conversation, right, that's it, go ahead, please. Maybe huh? we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. Too small. Uh -huh. The restaurant day door is bigger than our pizzeria. Mm -hmm. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. Mm -hmm. And we have to, to hire, a, hire. To have, hire a person to make deliveries. Deliver. Mm -hmm. Luigi? No, no. The secret is in the south. Hmm. It's not the cheese or sauce, sauce. Luigi. Sauce, Luigi. Mm -hmm. We have to offer of their table reserve, reservation for regular customer and we don't receive take of other orders, orders. Mm -hmm. so let's start with that and yes carla you are genius then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be the new especially of the house of the house very good you see here i am a fanboy best so and you have commas better than bigger than more beautiful decorations done okay and there we go so my friends every time you see words like this and for so nor or but yet remember they belong to a, a, the word fanboys for coordinated conjunctions right after this video conference you can start doing your task number two in the platform right to start you you can tell you can ask a uh, gabby or 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 it's it's uh, the exercises are very simple okay they are not that complicated so it takes three minutes of your time to do the exercises, okay? So the idea is to practice here in the class, okay? And that is extra material for you to, okay, support everything that we have studied today, okay? Thank you very much, okay, for being in my class today. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have pupus, virtual pupuses. Agavita, <laughs> virtual, uh -huh. virtual pupuses, okay? Virtual pupuses. Yes, virtual, that's it. Thank you, okay? Have a beautiful morning, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Yeah, bye, 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 guys. Bye. Thank you.